Greetings. Michael. Yeah, Dad. How are you? How are we doing, mate? Good, thanks. Everything good? Yeah, you've been looking for me, but I've been kind of into the country <laughs> and running. Hello? My son, Brendan. Yeah, I look, I look, I heard of you. Yeah. I'm the best one to this guy from long. We can hey. do my good boy. Good's coming in nice. Thank you, thank you. Remember last time I saw you, they were like one inch tall. Exactly, because that's slow start. Yeah. I thought it was you and the ball come in. My so, friend Miracle was talking and say, hey, Rick on the ball, Rick on the ball. He said like, no, that looks like a son. And I look down and I say, hey, that's Rick down there. So you do you good? I'm good. Say look at daddy. <laughs> yeah, it's a good guy. So that's been my real friend, you know, throughout. Yeah, I know, I haven't seen you in a long time, so let's yeah. grab a beer. I look the dinghy though, it's in a bad condition. I want to clean him one time. Oh, I know, the dinghy's I wanted to falling tell you, apart, the boat's in bad shape. I wanted to tell shape. you, bring some gears, I'm going to tackle him for you one time. Everything's in bad shape. So today started out early with a call from my buddy Michael and he's already on board. He got here about 8 o'clock this morning and ready to go to work and help get the boat back in shape. That's right, sir. Buddy Michael. Hello. Michael's my savior. <laughs> Uh, with Michael, we always get lots of projects done. He's been a great help. I've known Michael for probably seven or eight years since I started hanging out in Grenada. And so he gets on board and we're getting ready to start some new projects right off the bat. He's going to help out with, uh, we're going to be taking the engine apart and cleaning it up. Yep. Regre you know, degrease it and probably repaint it, make it all look like new again. Same thing in the bilges, going to do all that. And he's already started getting some work stuff out here, getting ready. We got the sander and sandpaper and tools are coming out. Yep. And we're going to sand down the floor because it's becoming a little bit dilapidated. I've always kept the floors varnished in the past and I don't know if we're going to varnish it again this time. I think we're just going to leave it raw. I varnished it to protect the wood, especially when we're chartering all the time because people walking on it constantly, the wood will eventually wear out. And the wood has been kept in really good shape. It's, uh, it's held up well over many years of lots of people on the boat. I've had it for 12 years now, so we're just gonna sand it down, have a look and see what it looks like. And I think if it's all good, then we'll probably just not put varnish on it this time and leave it raw, because that's much better under the feet, especially when it's wet, is to have raw wood. Because I like the varnish, it looks really pretty and everything, but it is a death trap when we're sailing sometimes because it gets wet and it gets slippery like oil. We left the transom unvarnished and you can see, I mean, it's not as pretty as having it varnished, but it is much more functional and it doesn't roast your feet. <laughs> that step at the back absorbs a lot of heat when the sun is on it. That's where it takes the most abuse. So the wood wears out fastest, varnish wears out fastest. We had to varnish it back there much more frequently. So now it's going to be nice to get all that done. Hey, get my buddy Michael <laughs> on board and ready to go. Thank you, puppy. The lady's going to be back in shape real soon. Step one today, budget marine. Gotta go get some supplies, need some sandpaper, and some masks, gloves, stuff for cleaning the sides of the boat. I don't think you've seen the lady lately, but uh, she's growing a beard, it's not very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sasha and I did one side of the boat already, and it was a big job, we did it from the dinghy, but Michael's gonna do the other side now, so we gotta go get some supplies to continue on, so we ran out when uh, Sasha and I were doing it. But we're working on it. With your guys' help, we're bringing the lady back. She's coming back fast, you watch. <laughs> so yeah, the glue on the bows all started letting go, and of course we started it ripping apart when, uh, when we started taking the boat back in tow. So that didn't help anything. But just one of the more of the projects we're gonna get working on. Our savior Michael. Yeah, well done, bro. I'm <laughs> shooting for the best. Okay. Bye bye, Diggy. Back soon. Did you hear about this boat? No. 
Well, it, been in a boat in a, in a crash. It drifted in on the off the ocean with its owner on board dead. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Vamp. They don't know what happened, but look, she's been through some nasty shit. Yep. Look how beat up all the tubing is on the, I mean, what did this thing hit? Yeah, all the pins, everything is going south, I mean. Must be through some terrible time over there. Not good. But I tell you what, those sails have been shredded like that for a while. So I mean the boat was way outside. Yeah, the last thing they know is he left the Canary Islands. That was, I think, the last stop in his stamp in his passport. So his passport was on board. And wait, oh, recently that happened, the boat coming? Last week. Uh, yeah. The big Coast Guard ship there towed her in. <clears throat> One of the dive boats saw it out in the ocean drifting and they obviously recognized it was not under sail with the sails like that so they just called the Coast Guard and the Coast Guard went and picked it up and they found the guy inside. They haven't been able to ascertain the death, uh, cause of death because the body was completely dis, uh, decomposed. decomposed, yeah. Not good, so he'd been out there for a while. But it would be interesting to know, you know, where he set out from and when, how long ago did this boat leave? How long did it spend out there? Just floating around, drifting in the Atlantic Ocean on its own. Yes, if boats could talk, I think that one would have a big story to tell. And I don't think it's a good one, unfortunately. But it would be interesting to know what happened to the guy. If he just got in a bad storm he couldn't handle or what. I mean, it's. It looks like it's been through a hurricane, but hurricane season's been passed here for six, eight months. So if he did get hit in a hurricane or a storm and he's been drifting around out there ever since, that's, it's a long time. Hmm. Not fun, let's just hope that never happens to any of us. I don't know if any of you guys have heard or anything about this boat, but it's called Vamp and don't have the, the owner's name handy, but it was in an article. I guess they found it and they printed it in the newspaper here in Grenada, so I'll see if I can find that information again. So it'd be interesting to see, interesting to see if any of you guys know anything about that or can find anything out where the boat came from, how long ago it left, and how long it's been missing. It's a story there. For him. Yes. Uh, <laughs> How you doing, man? You right? Yep. Need some help? Yeah, we're getting back at projects. Okay, okay. So we need to get some, probably some gloves, uh -huh. a Sorry. brush for some hall cleaner, some sand pads for a round sanding disc. Okay, so let's go down this side. Alright. Okay. So, Mike, we got our gloves. Yeah. We got coarse sanding paper, medium and fine. Nice. We got your sponges. Go for it. Cleaning cloths, scotch brake pads, your heavy duty scotch brake pad. Okay, we got the wash for the bilges and yeah. portable cleaner. Are we good? We got everything or we need something else? I can't remember. Um, I think that's it for now. That's good for now? Yeah. That'll keep us going today? Yep. All right, cool. Well done. We are good to go. Yeah. <laughs> 
too tired? <laughs> Long day of meeting. Smells pizza. Another hard day at the office. Yeah. <laughs> I want Tuesday. Huh? I want pineapple viewer. <laughs> Big kitchen, kitchen show. <laughs> and a chef. And a chef. <laughs> and a masseuse. Huh? And a masseuse. Masseuse? Massage? Massage, yeah. <laughs> Massage. 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 Garden. All right, we're going that way, and we don't know what's coming. So, good night. At night, supposed to be sleep and don't watch a video and don't recording video. <laughs> so off camera, <laughs> and let's go. <laughs> <laughs>